Hey, this is Angie here with Apostrophe S showing you our Bird Bistro Kit. This project is a lot of fun because you can obviously complete it by yourself or your little kiddos can help alongside of you as well. With all the pieces already pre-cut and super simple assembly, your kids will love to help build the bird feeder and will love even more when they see it in use. Let's go ahead and get started. So in your kit, when you open it up, you're gonna see all of your pre-cut pieces here. You're gonna have the bottle that's, that will hold your bird seed, the glue, rubber band, and nails that are used in assembly. What you're gonna need from home, simply just a good hammer and bird seed of your choice. So let's begin assembly. The first step in it is going to be putting together the roof. That is using these two pieces here with the slanted edges. They're gonna fit together just like so. And the way that you hold them together, you're gonna smear a decent amount of glue um, along one of the slanted edges. I just use the nose of the glue bottle to actually get it where I want it to go rather than where it's wanting to go. Once you get it kind of smeared around, you're gonna line up those two edges. Apply a little bit of pressure on it for a few seconds. Once you feel it kind of holding together on its own, you're just gonna put that off to the side and let that dry for 20 to 30 minutes. That's super important to let it dry for that long so that it has a nice good hold. The next part is going to be building the actual house of the bird feeder. So to begin, you're gonna take your two largest pieces and your plain um, middle square here, which isn't really a square, keep this in mind. You'll notice here that if I had it lined up here, I would have um, the edges off. So make sure that the edges line up, and then you're just gonna pop it up together to form a pyramid. Then you're gonna take your first rubber band, put it over the top and just kind of shimmy it down to the bottom here. Once you get that uh, around the bottom, to kind of hold that uh, piece, have it be a little bit more stable, you're gonna open it up, hold it with one hand, take your circle pieces here, the smaller, oh, almost lost it there, the smaller circle is gonna go in the bottom grooves, and you're just gonna slide that in, and the bigger circle in the top groove. Next, while you're holding those, you're gonna take your last two rubber bands, pop them on there. And with those, I'll show you here, you're gonna to wanna to make a nice big X facing you. The bigger the X, the more sturdy the hold will be for you to make sure that those are nice and tight together. And that will just make it a lot easier for you as you are hammering the base together. Once you have that nice X, you're gonna wanna flip it onto its side because we're gonna be focusing on the base here. You'll see that there's already, oh, careful moving your rubber bands around. <laughs> okay, you'll see that there's already um, holes as to where the nails are supposed to go to help make it a little easier for you. So take out your nails and you're gonna hammer two on each side just right into those holes that are already there for you. So now that you've hammered two nails onto both sides of the base, put that base in there nice and good, you're gonna put it facing you, move your rubber band, base rubber band up a little bit and you're gonna take your two rectangular pieces that have nail holes in them as well, four nails on each one, and you're gonna nail this into the base, one on the front, one on the back, that helps her hold your bird seed in there so it doesn't fall out. Okay, so once you have both of those hammered in there, you can stand it on up and take off all of your rubber bands. Now at this point, you can slide your bottle in if you would like. 
I'm gonna put mine in there just so I can show you. This is how you take your bottle in and out once it is fully built so that you can take it out and refill it with the bird seed. Okay, so once we're at this point, the last step is to simply attach the roof. And all you need for that is your glue. You're just gonna put some glue on both slanted edges here. Again, a decent amount, not enough, or not a ton that it's gonna be like dripping down the sides, but enough to give it a good, nice hold. And I like to just smear mine around with the tip of my glue. I'd rather it get dirty than me. <laughs> okay, so once you have a good amount of glue, you're gonna take your roof that's been setting aside and drying for 20 to 30 minutes. Remember that is very crucial to let it hold really well. And you're just gonna simply set it on top that it's just even on both sides there. Apply a little bit of pressure, not crazy amounts, but just a little bit of pressure to make sure that it adheres really well. And set it off to side to dry 20 to 30 minutes again. Once it's all finished, your bird feeder is completely done. You just take the bottle, slide it on out, fill it up with some bird seed, and then pop it right back in there. Watch the birds come, it'll be a lot of fun. So make sure to subscribe to our page below to see the first, or to be the first to see our new and upcoming projects and additions, apostrophe S. Yes, make it yours.